Microsoft just started shipping new Windows 11 features that are coming today and tomorrow. Today is a day I've been waiting for for a little bit of time. Now, Microsoft has announced previously a bunch of Windows 11 features, but never really told us when and or how they are going to arrive or what really is the new cadence for Windows 11. But that today, my friends, is changing quite a bit as Microsoft officially announced today that they're going to start shipping new features, rolling them out, of course. That includes a bunch of stuff like Android apps and, uh, and other things that we'll dive into here in a second. But the important thing is like, hey, these are coming today and it sort of is deviating a little bit from what we kind of expected. Now, if you jumped back into the wheel of time, Microsoft said that Windows 11 will receive one major update per year. And they're kind of skirting around that here a little bit because technically I don't believe the version of Windows 11 is updating today, but you're definitely getting some more bang for your buck out of this iteration of Windows 11. So let's just dive into what Microsoft is shipping today and we'll get into tomorrow here in just a little bit. Microsoft says that the Amazon App Store preview on Windows 11 is now available to everybody, which means that you can run a limited selection of Android apps right there on your very own desktop, my friends. Now, what's interesting about this is obviously that you can run Android apps on your own desktop, but you can't forget about the Googles over on the other side who has also said, hey, we're bringing games, Android games to the Windows desktop. And so now you've kind of got Microsoft and and Google on one side, Microsoft and Amazon on one side, and Google on the other, kind of fighting for desktop superiority when it comes to Android apps on the Windows experience. This is good for the consumer. It's probably making Microsoft really nervous because if a bunch of people realize that, hey, Android apps on the desktop are all that I need, well, Chrome OS exists. And actually, my, uh, Google announced today that Chrome OS is now available for the PC. So keep your eyes on that one, my friend, as we dive a little bit deeper into what Google is doing there. So that is the first major announcement. The second feature that is rolling out are a bunch of taskbar updates. Now, Microsoft, again, has talked about a bunch of this, but this is going to be available from everybody on every single ring starting today. So the big one, at least in my opinion, the most helpful one is mute on the taskbar. All of us are sitting on your team's call or whatever your audio chat application that you're using at work and you need to mute quickly and well now it's going to be permanently on your taskbar and so that is a good thing much easier to get access to that than searching around and hunting in the team's interface which likes to appear well it appears they move buttons around more than i so uh really really like the other thing that is coming that is also available to teams initially and i believe they are opening up the documentation so it'll be available on other apps is when you hover over an icon on your taskbar the little preview window pops up you're going to be able to now to share that directly to uh your team's meeting this is a neat little feature because i think we've all probably been there you're on a meeting and you're like okay let me share my desktop or my share my window and you're hunting and pecking and trying to find that right window well this one will make it easier to share the exact window that you are wanting now, the other features that are coming are weather on the taskbar. Now, this is a feature actually was kind of on Windows 10. And by kind of, I mean, it, it explicitly was on Windows 10. And now the widget is going to find a home in the bottom left corner where you will be able to see your weather and you can click on it and open widget world if that's your sort of thing. Uh, but that is that is coming probably, I don't know, pretty lower down on the excitement thing because it's we've known about it. But the most exciting feature, the most exciting feature and exclusive to Windows 11 is going to be a clock on the second monitor. Uh, this is... This is one of those things that kind of made Windows 11 feel like it was kind of rushed out the door, if you will, is because there was no clock on your second taskbar. If you had a multi-monitor setup, you got your icons, no clock, no clock, not a, not a system tray, nothing. And so now, now we have been graced with a clock on the other taskbar or task bars, depending on your device. And so, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Microsoft is also updating a couple apps. We have a new media app and we have a new notepad app. Now I say new because they're really just sort of updated, especially when it comes to, to notepad. It's just like refreshed with a little bit of dark theme. And then the media app is also there proud and prideful as ever looking a little bit more at Windows 11 -y at the end of the day. Now, all these things are, are rolling out and things that Microsoft has been announced. And we expect that there's going to be more features. And Microsoft even says, look, we're not done. Explicitly in their blog post, they say, over time, you'll see us release new features into Windows 11 for the end user more frequently in addition to our annual update. We will leverage the variety of update mechanisms we have in place, including servicing and the Microsoft Store updates. Our goal is to deliver continuous innovation, providing you with the best experience year round. That is from Panos Panay, the leader of Windows and Windows 11. Now, 
I have mixed feelings on this. Some of them are tied to what I do for a living, but other things are just tied to Microsoft. Microsoft, one of the challenges that nobody really appreciated with Windows 10 is that we got two major updates per year. There was a spring, a, a spring, a spa, a, spa. <laughs> a spring update and a fall update if I could connect the neurons in my brain. Now, what they're moving to is there's only one major update that is going to happen in the fall that I'm guessing is maybe a roundup of all these other updates. I did a video a couple weeks ago where there's a whole bunch of new servicing mechanics. Micro calls them like feature packs, web packs, and experience packs. Now there's store packs, and now there's packs for your packs. Where it's, There's a whole different Sherpa blend of updates that can come to change how Windows 11 updates and works. But technically, Microsoft is saying that those aren't updating the build of windows 11 the deep down under bits just the surface feature bits but i don't know guys i, I feel like putting a widget on the taskbar adding clocks and other things those are fairly those aren't your trivial updates like new themes or new wallpaper or something like that they're, they're relatively hefty and so it looks like microsoft is going to continue down that route of just pushing out updates when they are ready now, there's another side of this. The other side is that a lot of the features that Microsoft has announced today, for the most part, and we'll get to that in a second, are things that are just available on Windows 10 already, meaning the widgets, meaning the clock, are already available on Windows 10. So this is Microsoft just sort of catching Windows 11 up to things that were in Windows 10. Now, yes, there are certain taskbar features like the little hover and share in Teams. That is new on Windows 11. Also, the mute it could go either way because I think you could work yourself backwards into that getting on Windows 10. Either way, the reality here is that Microsoft is going to continue to update this stuff. What we don't know is how this is going to operate on the enterprise side. Is Are these features going to be breaking anything? Microsoft, to the best of their ability, does test some of this stuff, but it tends to break things. I mean, we saw a patch Tuesday that completely nuked Hyper-V and reset data center uh, con domain controllers, if I can remember the word correctly. And so it gets a little dicey. It gets a little dicey, but the reality is that Microsoft is committed. They are publicly announcing, I believe for the first time, that they are going to continue to update Windows 11 and it's not just going to be one major update per year. It's going to be one major update per year, but a whole bunch of these quote-unquote minor updates, but they feel kind of... I feel like I feel like Android apps on Windows is a major update. I feel I'm just going to get that off my chest. Uh, while I don't have an explicit reason, maybe other than potentially the Kindle app on Windows 11, I don't feel like it's that big of a deal, but I, I feel like running Android apps on Windows is a sacrilegious thing that we never would have imagined back in the Windows 8 days or even was Android around on the Windows 7 days or probably our infancy. But either way, this is Microsoft signaling to the world that you can be on the lookout for more updates to Windows 11. And as always, if you want to be you know clued in to what Microsoft is doing here with Windows 11, make sure to keep it subscribed here because the only BS on this channel is me.